Okay, in this video I'm going to go ahead and show how you can use a software defined radio. Uh, it's called a SDR to um, remotely uh, ring a doorbell through a wireless doorbell. Basically what we're going to go over is uh, using your software design radio SDR to capture the signal, the wireless signal from the doorbell. And then you'll use the SDR to actually transmit the signal you just captured, which will make the doorbell ring. And then finally, we'll actually use um, a program called Audacity to uh, look at the actual signal. And with that, you'll be able to break out the bit pattern and then actually have um, transmit the, uh, the signal synthetically without, without the need for actually recording the actual signal off the, uh, off the remote doorbell. So for parts, what I use is a uh, doorbell ringer. There's the model number. It's a Heathco wireless door chimer. Uh, of important note is the FCC ID number. I'll get into that a little bit later, what that means. And basically, this is what it looks like. Here's a picture of the doorbell ringer. You have a remote ringer on the right. It's a little button thing. And then you have something that gets plugged into the wall on the left. It's the, the chime that actually does the ringing. And then if you look on the back of the doorbell ringer, there's a thing in there that says the FCC ID. I'll get into that again, what that means in a minute. Um, SDR, I use what's called a Blade RF SDR radio. It does the receiving of the signal as well as transmitting of the signal. So this will actually be doing the ringing for us. And from my Windows PC, is I have a couple programs installed. One of them is called GQRX that you can download. And basically I'll use that to actually just to kind of look at the signal and see what kind of modulation it uses and some other stuff like that. Um, I use extensively use what's called GNU Radio Companion to actually do the capturing of the signal, the playing back of the signal, as well as synthesizing the signal to actually transmit the, uh, the bit pattern. And then I use Audacity to help me analyze the, uh, the actual signal that I'm capturing. Uh, so we talked a little bit about the FCC ID, and it's pretty cool. What you can do is almost any device that transmits has something called an FCC ID number and you can actually look on the FCC database and type in that number and what you'll get back is documents that you can look at that actually describe the device that you're that you're looking at. Um, in this particular instance, particular interest is the thing called the test report and if you actually look at the test report for this device you can see there's a little description there that talks about it but it also tells you what frequency it transmits on. So this one transmits um, at a frequency of 315 megahertz. Usually these things transmit at 315 or I believe 433 megahertz, but this one is 315. Um, test report, you can actually look at some of the testing they do. They'll actually show you what the signal looks like. In this case, it's 13 pulses or 13 bits. Uh, mine looks a little different than this one. This one has a little bit different bit pattern than mine, but I guess you'd expect that for all the different doorbell chimes. All right, so for the setup, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, have our, our remote doorbell ringer and the, the receiver that's going to actually do the chiming. And we'll have our SDR radio that is plugged into my Windows PC. And then what will happen is the doorbell ringer will, will chime. It'll sound something like this when I press the button. And that signal will get sent to the uh, receiver but it also gets sent to the SDR and the SDR will take that signal and it will save it on my local hard disk. It's two files. I have it called the doorbell.wave and doorbell.dat um, and then it goes ahead and makes the chime. Uh, the wave format is a standard wave file. The dat format is just a digital uh, format of the signal. That the, that the dat is the one you actually use for the playback. And then for replay, again, we just have the doorbell receiver, and then we have the SDR now. Again, the SDR is plugged into the computer. It's going to be doing the transmitting now. And then we have our doorbell.dat file that we send out through our SDR to the doorbell, and then it goes ahead and makes the noise, makes the chime. So what I'm going to show you now is a little video of how this actually works. Um, I'm actually going to do it for you. I'm going to show you how to receive the, the signal, wireless signal, and how uh, we use um, the uh, um, GNU radio to uh, receive it and then use GNU radio to transmit it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is go to the 
Silver Cloud Computing website, SEC website. And if you look on the far right, you'll see an SDR tab there. And if you click on that and then kind of scroll to the bottom, you'll see some GNU radio files, GRC files I put together, as well as some sample of WAV files and DAT files. So what you want to do is you want to download the first two files, the Bell rxqt.grc and the Bell txqt.grc. And uh, the important thing is just to make sure that when you rename them, they end in GRC. So I'll just call this one rx.grc. And we'll go ahead and download the second one. Again, this will be in our downloads file. And we'll just call this tx.grc. I'll name this tx.grc. And now I'm going to bring up the QT uh, RX, but I'll figure what it's called. Um, GQRX, sorry. And we're going to run it at 350 megahertz, and we're going to ring our doorbell and see if it works. See if you can see a signal there. Okay, so we saw that worked. Um, you want to make sure you're using amplitude modulation at about 50 kilohertz bandwidth. So now let's go ahead and bring up our receive um, new radio that we put together. So we're going to receive the signal at 315 megahertz. We'll bring up the receive and transmit. So the receive at 315 megahertz. And we're going to go ahead and save two files. We're going to call it a um, call it doorbell.dat file. There it is. And then the other one's going to be um, there's doorbell.dat file, so I'm going to save that. It's just kind of the raw data file. And the other one I'm going to save is going to be called a wave file. So strictly getting the signal off the air and then just saving it in two file formats, a wave file and a dat file. So let's go ahead and run that. It'll take a little bit to get on. So what we're going to do is ring it three times and capture the data and save it to disk, and then we're going to replay that signal. So give it a second here. I'm actually going to push the button so that we, we can transmit some data and receive it. Okay, so we went ahead and transmitted it, or we received it. And now I'm going to transmit it I'm using the, uh, the doorbell.dat file we just saved with the three rings on it. And I'm going to have it repeat, so it's going to do it all the time. So we're going to go ahead and use our, um, our sync source to go ahead and transmit the file. I'm going to go ahead and run it. And again, we're going to take that dat file we just recorded and just play it back through the SDR, the new, ad, the new ad blade. So give it a minute to come up here and we should hear three rings. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna let it run again. It's about 315 megahertz. We'll see if it rings again. Okay, so we received and transmitted the signal. Okay, so a little bit of signal analysis now. Hopefully, I spelled analysis correct. Um, as I told you before, we save the uh, the actual signal in two file formats. One of them was I call it's called a DAT format. It's called DAT for data. And the other one's the actual WAV file. So when we bring up Audacity and you were to look at the actual doorbell.dat file, which you can download, it's going to look something like this. And you can see there's really well-defined a pattern there. It looks like you know some fat pulses and some thin pulses. Um, and those are the ones in the zeros. In this case, there's going to be 13 of them <coughs> uh, for the dat file. For the WAV file, um, it's a little bit cleaner where um, you can actually uh, view the ones in the zeros a lot better. Uh, it's very well defined square wave. So again, it's the same signal, and you can see how it matches up with the DAT file. 
but it's the same signal and it you can help you breaks out um, what the actual um, bit pattern is. So if we were to bring up Audacity and look at the actual bit pattern, if I make the, the, the skinny pulses a zero and the fat pulses a one, you can break out right away what the bit pattern is for this particular doorbell ringer. And then you can actually measure how many samples it is for a zero and a one. And that comes in handy when you start using GNU Radio to actually synthetic, synthetically generate these signals. Um, so you know, you know what it looks like. So you can do a little bit of signals analysis on these signals using Audacity. It's a very powerful tool. So let's go ahead and we'll do the video demo. I'll show you how to use Audacity to actually do the signal analysis part to just break out the ones and the zeros. And then we'll actually use uh, GNU Radio to transmit the uh, bit pattern, uh, I call it synthetically. So we're not using any DAT file, we're just using GNU Radio to actually transmit the uh, actual signal ourselves. Okay, so I brought up Audacity. And what we're going to do is go ahead and look at these two f uh, data files. Uh, we're going to look at the DAT file. And just go with default, you have to do import um, raw. I'm going to go ahead and bring that in. And then we're going to go ahead and um, also open up the WAV file. So again, these are the files we just recorded with the receive um, GRC one. So the top is DAT, bottom is WAV. So if we go ahead and shrink this out a little bit, you can see, remember we rang it three times, there's three things going on there. So you can see there's like three pulse groups. If we, if we zoom in on this, you can see again how the bit pattern breaks out really nicely. You can actually see that the doorbell rings multiple times. It sends a signal multiple times to get the ringer to work. So I, I, I might be at 20 or 30 times it sends it in one burst, but um, this is how it does it. And you can see how well defined um, the bit pattern is here. So if you look again, there'll be 13 uh, pulses, 13 bits. And I find that the WAV file you know, is pretty good to look at because you can actually um, it, it break out the ones and zeros uh, a lot easier. It actually shows it. So, so you got one, zero, 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 or one, zero, one, one, one. I think the small ones were ones. The small ones were zeros, the, th the fat pulses were ones. And if we zoom in even more, we can actually measure um, the pulse widths of these things. Or the s uh, I, I usually like find out the sample size. So for this particular one, they all have the pulses have the same the the width is the same size. I think it's 1,050 samples, but the actual width of the actual pulse itself varies depending on if it's a one or a zero. Um, so it's kind of interesting how you can do a little bit of analysis here of how these pulses are generated, and you can take that information and roll that into the uh, GNU radio, which I'm going to show you how to do in a minute. But again, Audacity is a very powerful tool. Let's not save it. Okay. So let's go ahead and bring up GNU radio, and we're going to go ahead next, and just instead of using our DAT files to ring the doorbell, we're going to go ahead and um, use the, um, the synthetic one. So again, go back to the website, go to the SDR page, Go down the bottom, and there should be some synthetic.grc thing here. And same deal as before, you just download it. And we'll go ahead and rename it. So we'll go ahead and do that one. Call it synthetic. Did I spell that right? That GRC. Again, these things have to end in GRC so that the like, new radio companion will be able to open it up. So that's okay. So let's go ahead and open that up. That's from before. And we're going to go ahead and open up our synthetic one. There it is. And I'm not going to go into this in detail, but basically you, you, we're having the GNU Radio generate the bit pattern for us. Um, just look it over. Um, the key is right here. This is where you want to put your bit pattern. So in this case, there's 13 bits. This is what we determine the bit pattern to be. And through the magic of GNU Radio and a lot of these processing blocks I have here, what it'll do is it'll send this um, signal through and it'll actually generate the uh, transmit the signal for us um, through the bitstream. I think I'm actually going to save this as well. I think I call it synthetic or something like that, that, that file so we can compare it later. So let's go ahead and run it. It takes a minute to come up and we're gonna, just going to generate it over and over and over again. So it should be ringing all the time. Okay, so we used uh, 
Audacity to determine the bit pattern, and then we actually put the bit pattern in there. So let's see what it, the signal looks like that we generated this time. So let's look at the synthetic one. And there it is here. Look how perfect that looks. No noise, no nothing. Perfect square waves. Um, and if we compare that to the ones that we actually cache, captured in the field with you know, the real transmitter, you're going to see it lines up perfectly with what we had before. So let's bring up the, uh, the DAT file maybe. And maybe we can see if we can line these up, see how well they line up. Mm, come on. So again, I'm transmitting all the time, so there's some, there's some pulses there. So let's see how these line up. So the top is the one we created, and the bottom is the one that, we, we, th that the doorbell created through the circuitry. One was computer generated on the top with the GRC GNU radio, and the bottom was just the actual signal that was radio to actually transmit the uh, actual signal ourselves. Okay, so in summary, uh, what I try to show you here is that you can you can capture a uh, signal wirelessly, you know, I and call it a DAT file, and using that DAT file, you can play back the captured signal, and it'll ring the doorbell for you. And then using Audacity, you can do a little bit of signals analysis to figure out the bit pattern. And once you figure out that bit pattern, you can use uh, the GNU Radio Companion to have the SDR transmit um, that signal. Again, it would ring the doorbell. And again, the best way to learn this is just to just look at the GNU radio stuff I have um, uploaded. Just download it, look at it, look at some of the processing blocks, the modules I have, and uh, play around with it and just get a feel for how that works. I mean, if you have a, a doorbell or any, any amplitude shift keying device, ASK device, it's going to be something similar to what I have for the, for the synthetic um, playback. Again, if you have any questions, uh, certainly go to the website try and keep it updated. Uh, I'm a NiFi guy, so there's a lot of NiFi stuff there. Or you can email me at NiFi at silvercloudcomputing.com. Thanks.